Hey guys, Souls and Sketches here. Now, this video is going to be a little different than what I usually make. I've been planning on making a drawing challenge video for ages, but I just couldn't think of which drawing challenge I wanted to do. So I'm doing all of them. On YouTube, I asked you guys to send me recommendations of characters you wanted me to draw, and so I've picked a few of them and I'm going to pop them in this box. And in the other box, I've written down a bunch of drawing challenges I want to try. So. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a character to draw from your suggestions and then we're going to try and draw that character using the drawing challenge I pick. It should be interesting, I've only really done one drawing challenge before, um, don't watch it. <laughs> before we begin the video however, I have an important announcement for you guys, but I'll be back. <clears throat> we have our first sponsorship! I said pop them. Pop. Thank you. I am pleased to announce that this video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes, including classes on design, business, video making, and more. So I was already using Skillshare before they reached out to me. I use it when I need help practicing drawing or when I need help with editing software or something like that. Pretty much anything on my channel, I've watched a tutorial for it on Skillshare. Whether you want to improve your skills uh, as a hobby or as a career, you know, drawing, video creating, photography, pretty much anything you can think of, there's a class on Skillshare. Some of the courses I personally use are Creative Writing by Susan Orlean and Character Illustrations by Gabrielle Piccolo. Uh, the courses just help me when I'm writing scripts for stories or when I'm looking to design characters. I found them very informative and uh, I'm sure you guys will too. Skillshare is giving away a free two month unlimited access trial to the first 500 people who click the link in the description box. And after that, it's only $10 per month. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. <laughs> okay, so let's begin the video. Whoa, I'm back! Crazy, right? So to get this drawing challenge video started, I had to go to the store to buy some supplies. So... I did. So, uh, hopefully with the supplies I got, I'm able to make this video properly. Um, I'm a little scared, I don't have all the products, but we'll see how we go. Okay, so let's get started into the video. Now, I don't know if I should choose a character or a challenge first. I don't know which one's which, so we'll just have to see. Okay, so we're using the three marker challenge and the character that we are drawing, sorry Kyrie, Naruto. So for this challenge, people use Copic markers. It's pretty much what everyone uses. Um, they're expensive. I could have bought them, but for three markers, it would have been about $30. Uh, so instead, I spent $20 on this. I don't. I don't know what you guys want from me, like, I have no money. I once tried to go on holiday, but my bank account was like, you can go to your backyard and that's it. Okay, so I placed all of them in this container. Um, I don't trust myself to pick them, so I'm gonna get my sister to pick them. That way, if they're bad colors, I can just blame her. Okay, so just pick three, close your eyes, pick three. So these are the three colors we got. I don't know how I'm gonna draw Naruto with these, but um, we'll just see how it goes. Okay, so before I began the challenge, I swatched the colors to see how they blend together. Um, they don't <laughs> at all. And then I drew a few sketches just to kind of get an idea of where I wanted the drawing to go. I ended up going with a pose that didn't even fit on the page. So I had to change it mid drawing. The markers, they, I, I wanted to do this thing where the focus point was Naruto's signature move, the Rasengan, and then the lights would be bouncing off it, but I, I really don't know how to use markers, it's not something that I use often. I think the last time I used it was a few years ago, so I'm no expert when it comes to um, using markers or colouring or anything really. <laughs> um, I really wanted to draw Sasuke instead of Naruto, but uh, there were more votes for Naruto, so I stuck with him. Um, Naruto was actually one of the first anime that got me into anime, and I used to draw fan art of him all the time, but it's been years since I did, so I'm glad I got to do it with this challenge. Okay. 
Okay, so it didn't turn out exactly how I hoped it would be. Uh, I think you can kind of see where I was going with the lighting and the shading, but it just didn't work. Um, but overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, so let's see what challenge I'm doing next and what character I'm drawing. So this is... Okay, so we're doing the 10 minute, one minute, 10 second challenge. And the character that we are drawing is... Pikachu. Okay, I think this challenge says a lot about me as a person. Just just watch. All right, so uh, we've got seven minutes left. Yeah, take your time. You've got plenty of time. Just keep sketching. Don't worry about it. There's no rush. All right, so you've got six minutes left. You know, that's fine. Take your time. You don't need to outline it just yet. You don't need to color it just yet. It's fine. Take your time, Sultan, please. Uh, three minutes left. You, it's all right. Don't worry. Uh, don't panic. You got this. You got this. Uh, you haven't colored yet. That's fine. All right, you got one minute left. And yep, yeah, there you go. See, that's what happens when you leave it to last minute. Minute. You played yourself, Sultan. Okay, for some reason, the one minute challenge just decided not to record. Um, I was going to redo it, but since I already drew it, I thought that might be kind of cheating. Um, but don't worry, you didn't miss much. <laughs> All right, at this point, th this right here, it's not even a challenge, it's just kind of sad to watch. Um, yeah, I. Ugh, that's just depressing. Yeah, mm, yeah, did that do anything? No. <laughs> oh, that was that was impossible. Ugh, let's not do that again. Um You know what? So, let's get on to the next challenge. All right. So, uh let's see what's next. So, we have the blindfolded challenge and the character that we will be drawing. Okay, so I try to... <laughs> I'll be drawing Shrek as a cute anime girl. Alright, so uh, I have a blindfold with me. Let's just get straight into it. Uh, hold on, I need a, my pen's right there. Alright, I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> oh god. I can't breathe. It's fine. There we go. Now. Um, I'm gonna get straight into it, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, uh, here we go. Now, um, I think Shrek is already pretty cute, so I don't know how I'm gonna make it any better. I'm trying to like... So... <laughs> okay, so this is where the ear is. Alright. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, if someone asked me three years ago, where do you see yourself in three years? I was legitimately going to be like, I see myself drawing Shrek as a cute anime girl blindfolded. That's exactly... So, like, you know, I'm glad that came true. Um, <laughs> I don't know what... I think it doesn't matter what outfit I give him, because you're not going to see it. <laughs> uh, that's so weird. I swear I had a dream about this once. Don't ask. So there's the dress. Obviously, I'm sure you guys can tell. Okay, cute little leggies. And the other leg goes there? Maybe? I don't know. Um, does he have arms? Did I draw arms yet? Crap. Uh, well, worst comes to worst, you just draw them doing the little like that. And there's the other arm there. Oh my god, he's so cute already. I already know. Should I give lips? <laughs> There's the lips. Why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm trying my best. Um, oh, did I give hair? So, here's the fringe. And we'll give it the bow tie. And then the little ponytail that sticks out because it's anime girl. <laughs> and stop laughing, I'm trying! I'm sorry, I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> oh my god. So disrespectful. And did I cut? I think that's it. Maybe I'll make the, 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 the thighs have socks. Okay, I think we're all done. Uh, before I even look at it, I just want to say I already know this is going to be pretty good. And you can buy this piece on my website for, uh, I'm going to say $1,000. I'm pretty confident. So uh, let's see how it turned out. 
<laughs> it's actually, I mean, like, I don't know what, what the, okay, maybe not, but it kind of, you can kind of see where I was going with this, you know, he's got the cute little side ponytail that was meant to be on the, the forehead, but, um, you can kind of tell I tried to do the little ear thingies. I forgot his signature nose, which makes me sad. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> that's it for that challenge. Uh, let's just get straight into the next one. Okay, so let's see what's next. So the next character we'll be drawing. I don't even know where these things are. <laughs> Crap. Um, okay, so we'll be drawing Todoroki from My Hero Academia. And the drawing challenge will be left-handed. Okay, so this challenge is way harder than what I thought it would be. Um, there's just some, I, I've never done anything left-handed, to be honest, in my life. Uh, and just when it comes to holding a pencil, it's just, it feels so weird to me. Um, you can see throughout the whole video, I've got my right arm just like sitting there because it, it, I am so uncomfortable with this setup, like I just want to swap the pen into my right hand, but um, I stuck to it. For some reason, my left hand was shaking quite a lot. I don't know if that's, that's a thing you lefties have to deal with. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, I, I did have a lot of fun with this. Um, I think I like the sketchy look, but once I fine lined it, I was like, oh, now it's just sad, you know? <laughs> um, ironically enough, when I went to the store, I didn't buy any colored pencils because I was sure that I had some lying around in the house. Um, but I searched every, well, that's a lie. I searched one room and couldn't find pencils. So I, I gave up <laughs> and I had to use those markers that I was uh, crapping on just before. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad I bought the pack. I don't actually think I've drawn this character right-handed <laughs> or like properly at all. Actually, I don't think I've drawn any character from My Hero Academia. Um, so I am sad that the first time I got to draw this character was with my left hand, but um, I'll, I'll, I'll redo it with my right hand one day when I have time. <laughs> Another thing that was really difficult for me was uh, I usually color from the top left to the bottom right of the page. Um, you see it in my uh, videos on YouTube as well. The coloring starts from the top left to the bottom right. And that's kind of hard when you're drawing with the left hand. So I had to do it the opposite way. And I, I, this was just an overall very uncomfortable experience for me. Um, would I want to learn how to draw left-handed? Of course, I think that would be a weird skill to have, but um, for now, I think I'll stick with the right hand. Okay, uh, that wasn't that bad. Obviously, I had heaps of trouble doing it. My hand was shaking the whole time, and there kept being moments when I wanted to swap hands, but I think I did okay. I mean... Anyway, all right, on to the next challenge. So, I think there's only two more. So we'll be drawing myself, and the challenge we'll be doing... I can't seem to grab it. Hello? There you go. Oh. Okay, the teeny weeny challenge. Okay, so uh, this challenge overall wasn't exactly hard so much as it was uh, frustrating. Um, every Anytime I draw myself, I, I, I don't think I have a specific style just yet. And so anytime I draw myself, I, I subconsciously experiment with a different style. And so as you can see when, while I'm sketching it, I'm redrawing a lot of things. And that's one of the main reasons why my videos take so long. It's because I'm just redoing sketches because I'm just not happy with uh, my style or like the overall look of a piece. Um, so that's what I'm doing right here. The teeny weeny aspect wasn't challenging so much as it was annoying because it was kind of impossible for me. Uh, I didn't measure the paper at all. It was just a thumb sized piece of paper, but it, you'll see pretty soon that uh, I didn't have any pens or pencils that were thin enough to kind of uh, cater to the small size. So it was kind of just sort of a mess. Um, I really did like how the markers turned out in this piece, which you'll see in a little bit. Uh, even though the markers are really crappy, uh, I just think the colors turned out pretty nice. 
Um, I love fine lining stuff. I like the look it gives it, but I'm terrible at fine lining. Uh, I just, I'm very shaky when it comes to like fine details. I'm also uh, terrible at commitment. So when I fine line something, it's very, um, <laughs> it's very uh, scary to me because, you know, once you fine line something, traditionally you can't really undo it unless you use white out. Um, and who really has the time for that, honestly? Um, I really did want to make a challenge um, digitally, but uh, since I haven't really drawn traditionally in ages, I thought, uh, you know what, I might just like give it a try because I've been, I've been stuck on my computer drawing digitally for about two years now and I really don't draw traditionally as often as I used to, so uh, that's why I stuck with the traditional challenges for today. Uh, as you can see, I'm just taping it down since it, I, I assumed it would move if I didn't tape it down. Here I go, and I'm, I'm a little upset that I didn't fill the whole page. I, like, I think I could have made it a little bit bigger, um, but as you can see, I had a, I think, 0.1 fine line pen, uh, and even that was just too thick to get the, <laughs> the details that I wanted. So it just kind of looks like a very bad pixelated um, RPG enemy, really. <laughs> okay, so that's the Teeny Weenie Challenge finished. Um, it was way harder than what I thought it would be. Um, so that's the normal A5 size piece of paper. And <laughs> this tiny little thumb sized piece of paper is um, the teeny weeny version. So I'll let you guys be the judge of if I <laughs> if I did a good job or not. Which brings us to the last challenge of today. Um, I don't remember what it was. So okay, so we'll be drawing Ladybug and Cat Noir, and the challenge. I don't remember what it was. Ah, watercolor challenge. So before we do the watercolor challenge, I think we need to dress appropriately. bit small. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so <laughs> just a disclaimer, if you have any sort of respect for artists or uh, people who paint or use watercolors, don't watch this. <laughs> I totally butchered this entire challenge from start to finish. The, the sketch is, it's not bad, it's nothing special, but just <laughs> as soon as this sketch is done, it just goes downhill from here. So just to give you guys a little bit of background, I have never painted in my entire life. I think maybe when I was in kindergarten, I would have painted here or there, but uh, as a teenager and as an adult, I have no memories of painting whatsoever. Uh, I don't even know the difference between watercolor and paint. <laughs> oh, is there a difference? I really don't know. I should have Googled it. Um, I just, I bought this packet that said washable on it. I assumed it was watercolor. Uh, turns out it's just the paint that kids use and you can wash it out of their clothes So it was nothing professional at all um, as you can see here I drew the skin first and then the hair on top because in my dumb head I assumed painting would be kind of like layers uh, As you're drawing digitally, you know You've got a layer at the bottom and then you can put layers on top and they sort of don't blend with each other You kind of just put it like lying pieces of paper on top of each other and so I, I drew the skin thinking once it dries I can just draw the hair on top of it and it will paint over it but um, either it was this paint that doesn't do it or no paints do that at all and I don't know where I came up with, with that idea so uh, that was me being a dumb dumb but you know uh, what's new? I feel so bad because I love these characters and I love watching watercolor videos like watercoloring paint videos online and <laughs> Just watching myself try to do this is so depressing. Like, I feel sorry for myself, and I feel sorry for anyone who has to watch. Look at me. Okay, 
I didn't have a thin brush, so look what I'm using. I'm using a toothpick. That's right, I dipped it in the paint and I'm using a toothpick for the fine details. Oh my God, you're such an idiot. Just get off the internet. <laughs> I'm so sorry to anyone who is offended by, I'm offended by this and I'm not even a, a painter, an artist, a paint, paint artist. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Um, and then I messed up with like the outlining. So I was like, oh, I'll just make the whole thing black and that made it worse. <laughs> uh, oh my God, this is just so embarrassing. If anyone uh, shares this and says Sultan Sketches did it, I'm just gonna say it's Photoshopped. I'm not gonna acknowledge that uh, this ever happened. <laughs> uh, and I'm so sorry to these characters because I, I genuinely love them so much and I totally butchered them and uh, I, I just want to apologize to everyone. Oh, and then I did this weird green dividing thing. I have no idea what that was. And then here I am trying to Avada Kedavra the painting. That didn't work. I found that very rude. Uh, so the painting's done, and I did the only thing I thought would be uh, a good thing to do at the time. So, uh... You're welcome. So... That's all the drawing challenges we have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and uh, let me know in the comments which challenge you thought I did the best at and which challenge you thought I did the worst at. I'm working on a new animated story time at the moment. So if you want to be notified when I drop that, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.